Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Um, my story this morning comes out of Law 360, and it's uh, and I don't make sure I get this name right because it's Dr. Sunil Garwal. He's a Seattle physician. I don't know if he's a psychiatrist or not. Uh, he filed a petition in December of uh, in October of 2022 to reschedule psilocybin. He filed it with the DEA, and then uh, what we all expect to happen with the DEA is they rubber stamped the denial. We won't do it. <clears throat> so he ran to federal court and he put on to the federal court that hey, they got to do more than that. Um, and so the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals issued an order um, a month or two ago. Yeah, you got to send it back. The DEA has got to do better than this because they have to tell us why they're making a determination so we can follow and track what they're doing and saying it's sort of a due process, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so it got sent back to the DEA. And it, I don't know why it took this this doctor two months to figure out, oh, they forgot something. But he filed a petition with the Ninth Circuit for a rehearing claiming that they left something out of their order to send it back to the DEA. They were required to send it to the FDA, have expert input scientifically on whether this could be used with restrictions, okay? That's what this whole pissing match is about, um, is getting the DEA to do what they're supposed to do and how do you force them? And as I was reading this, <clears throat> I was I hearkened back to the multiple times um, that Normal and other groups, MAPS and you know other groups have filed petitions to reschedule cannabis over the years. And you get into this, um, I call them administrative clusterfuck. And this Controlled Substances Act set this all up to be administrative law. And you jump in, file a petition to do something. They string you along until you get tired of it. You run to court. You have a hearing, and the court says, oh, it should never be in Schedule 1, but that's not before us. you got to tell the DEA, send them to the next phase. And then you go to the next phase, two years, you fuck around, and they give you a bullshit denial. You go to court. So what I see here is the DEA is a leopard. It's not changing its spots. This happens to be psilocybin, and the research goes back to the 1950s and 60s. It was great for depression. <clears throat> Their story is this is for end-of-life care. I mean, you cherry-pick the arguments you're going to make. When people are dying, we really don't give a shit if we get them addicted to drugs or whatever. Okay, Let them take whatever makes them feel better. So that's where they're focusing their attention. Anybody who knows... Uh, the psychedelic world knows that it's got a lot more applications than that. The FDA is currently working on MDMA for PTSD. They're beginning to open the floodgates at the FDA <clears throat> for consideration of this being something other than Schedule One, having an accepted current medical use. First, it's, and first of all, it's not highly addictive. So we got other problems with this. But this is crack <clears throat> cracking the door of the DEA and what they do and they haven't done anything different for 50 years now, is they spit in your face, slam the door in your face, walk away, and you got to drag them to court to get them to do what the law requires them to do. So I'm hopeful the FDA will do something with this. Um, I'm not sure that, that uh, Dr. Um, and again, Argawal's argument that it's mandatory goes to the, the uh, FDA is what the law actually says, but the DEA has used that argument against cannabis in two normal cases that, oh, it has to go to the FDA for all this research and things to come back to us. And now they say, no, no, it doesn't. We'll see how this rolls out. But th this is just the longstanding problem that we all face trying to look at substances and evaluate the language that they're that they're under and say it doesn't fit the language but you can't get that question before a court to have them do anything mm -hmm. oh so we're gonna I, and keep hoping the supreme court steps into cannabis and says no this is nonsense and we can get it for the court this is this is the struggle we're going to face for all these substances the dea are cops they, they want to keep everything illegal and they can never imagine that substances that we call drugs would ever be available to adults to use that's my uh, thought for the day my story kick it back to y'all what do you think i think the fda needs more money i mean got like six people they got like six people in the whole agency 
in, in charge of all that shit. They, they, and uh, they, they literally can't really enforce anything until people get hurt. Right. And um, they're in, they're underfunded, man. We I mean, want them to run shit. Like we want to look at it to the FDA. Like, like nah, DEA is already corrupt all the way through uh, for, 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 for generations in the FDA. Uh, mm-hmm. Thanks to Orrin Hatch, one of your homeboys, Jason, uh, gutting that shit. Uh, so we can have all these supplements and everything that don't do shit. And um, it's all messed up. I don't know. I mean, I, I, you're more uh, you're more optimi- optimistic on this one than I than I am, Dale. Like I don't I don't think. I just I'm confused, Dale. I'm, I'm confused a little bit by this story, because we covered the redacted uh, uh, the redacted paper in regards to the Schedule Three documents, and in there it clearly states that the FDA needs to, uh, or basically the DEA has the full authority to reschedule cannabis, and that the the, F, the FDA and HHS don't have don't have that that authority. But yet you have the Ninth Circuit basically saying that for mushrooms. That, that 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 the DEA has to consult with the FDA in regards to this. So I'm a little confused on that. Can you kind of break that down a little bit? Circle, well, it sounds like. The, um, when the Controlled Substances Act was passed in 1970, a, the Congress delegated to the executive branch the rescheduling authority. Mm-hmm. A delegated to the DEA, which I think was officially started in 71, something like that. And they put it into this administrative law circle jerk, I call it. Well, we've had some decisions recently. Uh, the SEC case before the Supreme Court was won, and there was another one last year, where they went back to the enabling language in Congress and said, hang on for a second. We're going to take a look at this and see, do you guys really have the authority you're claiming you have now? Okay, so there's a lot of things up in the air, Jason. Um, it, this has been lost to the, the real legal world for 50 years because it gets trapped in the administrative runaround. Mm-hmm. I would like to see Congress do something. The odds of that are slim to none. Uh, as you said, Biden's not going to do shit about any of these things because um, his drugs are a hot issue for him and his kid right now. <laughs> Besides, he's helped start the goddamn war on drugs back in <laughs> or gear it up in the 80s. So, See it happening. I think we're going to have the court step in. I don't know if they're going to prevail on their interpretation that it's mandatory you send it to the FDA. We'll see about that. But when you look at bureaucracies, DEA was well funded by Nixon. And once you give a bureaucracy power and money, they ain't never given that shit up. They're just not going to do it. And this is just another window in the DEAs. You're going to have to rip this out of their cold, greedy hands. Yep. That part. They have guns. Yep, they do. They got a lot that's of guns. Money. That's for sure. They use them too. Mm-hmm. Pow, and if pow, you don't pow. have, if you don't have your cameras locked on them, they will blame everything on you. Oh man, I got DEA stories from when they come after me. Those son of a bitches are ruthless. Yeah, hey, they... it never gets into your discovery when they charge you. Yep. Well, that shit never happened. I was fucking right there. You did it. Exactly. Lying sexy. Yep. Oh man, the fir- the first time I got raided by the DEA, the very first time. Uh, like they they did all kinds of crazy stuff. They destroyed every single camera in in the place. They contaminated my hard drive of my computer system with some kind of virus. But it amazed me that they didn't take the hard drive because I got a hacker who was able to spend more time than them and basically unhacked what they had hacked. And so then all of a sudden I had all of the camera footage all of a sudden again. So. Oh, they don't like that. Oh, they didn't. No, they didn't like that. They didn't like that. And we let we let Vice uh, TV air air that footage on their uh, on, on their channel on one of the episodes, and uh, that was that that was pretty interesting. That was definitely pretty interesting because it does show clearly on the tape that they did not uh, knock before entry. All they did was just quick blast, you know, bat around the door. No no knocking. No nothing. Uh, they're they're taking the fruit cups out of the refrigerator and fucking splattering them on the walls and just just everything they can do to possibly make a mess it was just unreal unreal is is, is it crazy how they have all the tools all the money to make sure that they catch us do everything doing everything electronically but somehow you know when they're in the wrong when the point of the fingers pointer at pointed at them everything seemed to malfunction yeah we lost this footage when they were after us 
ne next door in the suite next door, some company came in and there all the curtains were blacked out. And we come in in the morning and our computers would be unplugged. Mm -hmm. Phones would be unplugged. And you could see in the drop ceiling where there was dust from the drop ceiling on the floor. And then yep. it's like, wait a second. I wasn't born yesterday. I know what the fuck you got. When we, when we got charged and we asked for all your discovery, oh, that never happened. Listen. Molly went into there. She kicked their door and asked them, what the fuck are you guys doing here? And within 48 hours, they were gone. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. But that's just an example of the stuff. And when I work with cops, they would do sneak and peeks all the time. We would get information back door, never saw the light of discovery. But yet we, it was given to people who were investigating crimes. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I've seen it. So when it happened to me, it's like, I know what's going on here. And you're not scaring me. Because I know you're going to charge me anyway, so mm -hmm. fuck you. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Yeah. You, I mean, I, we even had a floating wall uh, in the, <clears> um, <throat> for how you access the back, the back of house, and they couldn't figure out how to get into the back of house when they came in there. And, like, they're, they start ripping up the carpet. They're like, where's where's the underground entryway to the back? And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> that brother, you push the wall right there, bro. It's not that difficult. You guys are crazy. Yeah. They raided us, Jason, and then I went to a dispensary, a, a trap shop in a local town, and across the street, the same people that, that raided me a couple weeks before, I saw them in the window acting like they were construction workers. And I walked up the window and waved at them. They fucking shit mm -hmm. their pants. Went across the street and warned the dispensary guys. So like, the DEA's across the street, man. They're watching you. Yep. And it's like, I, I waved on the way out. It's like, fuck you, I know what you're doing. You're not even that sneaky at it. Come on. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Oh man, Bad on that. Actors. Yeah, on that. Do you have any thoughts on this, Rochelle? I mean, just I don't have any war stories from the DEA, thank God. But what I will say is that the government bureaucrats love to punt to one another, and I think that's a big part of what's happening here. Facts. Lots of punting mm -hmm. going on. Lots of punting. It's a boring ass on. game. Mm -hmm. We all lose. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to see the FDA do more, but to say their bureaucracy is not right with the DEA is. I don't want to see them do more. They're just oh, going to screw it up. Excited. They're, they're going to screw it up even more than it already is, Dale. If they, if they so, would you say you support well, uh, a def the defund the police movement, Jason? Oh no, I do not support defund the police in any way whatsoever. I think it's a stupid, <laughs> stupid mantra. 